When Patrice Munsell was a little girl, she decided on an unusual career choice, professional whistler. She later said she had a good pucker. Then one day, that little girl heard the Metropolitan Opera on the radio and switched her career ambitions to a profession nearly as improbable, Metropolitan Opera star. At Lewis and Clark High School, she sang on stage and in the choir. Then, when she was a sophomore, she moved to New York to take professional singing lessons. At age 17, she landed in the finals of the Metropolitan Opera Auditions of the Air, the highbrow American idol of its time. She sang, she said, without a nerve in her body. She won and became the youngest singer ever signed to a Met contract. She came home a few months later to a sold-out concert at the Fox Theater, which a critic described the next morning as a triumph long to be remembered. She also gave a special concert for the servicemen at Geiger Field and made noise of a different sort. Her Met debut came later in 1943, and within a year she was one of the Met's star sopranos and on the cover of Life magazine. The Met called her its baby coloratura. She branched out into the world of popular entertainment with her own CBS radio show, The Family Hour. She sang with the biggest stars of the day, including a certain crooner from her hometown. In 1953, she made her movie debut in the title role of Melba. By 1957, she had her own ABC TV variety show, The Patrice Munsell Show. She left the Metropolitan Opera in 1958 and gravitated toward operetta and musical comedy in shows such as The Merry Widow and The King and I. In 1968... She returned to Spokane and received an honorary doctorate from Gonzaga University. She starred in a musical jubilee on Broadway in 1975 and toured the country in road shows. She came to Spokane in the show Applause and was treated like a diva. With her bubbly personality, she was especially well-suited to the lead roles of Hello, Dolly, and Mame. She spent decades touring in those shows and making the occasional guest appearance on television. She even developed her own Las Vegas review. Her last Spokane appearance came in 1990 in Mame, yet she still makes occasional visits in her role as the honorary co-chair of the Fix the Fox campaign, helping raise money for the theater in which she gave that homecoming concert in 1943. That long-ago critic was right. Patrice Munsell's triumph has, indeed, been long remembered. This is Jim Kirshner for SpokesmanReview.com.